America's most inbred family, moans and screams as they converse in dilapidated home. Mark Rada had to be accompanied by a police officer on his way to the Whitaker home. His first approach ended with him being threatened by a neighbor protecting his family. A brave filmmaker tells how he traveled deep into the world. In rural America, we travel to what is considered the most inbred family in the country. Mark Rada had to be accompanied by a police officer on his way to the Whitaker home. His first approach ended with him being threatened by a neighbor protecting his family. The Mirror reports how the writer spoke about his filming experience. He collaborated with his family on the new documentary, which he compared to a scene from the cult film Deliverance. In his 1972 thriller starring Burt Reynolds, four men go on a weekend canoe trip. Experience your worst nightmare on a river in the backwoods of Georgia. The Whitaker family lives in the remote village of Odd, West Virginia, and is uneducated, and is confined to an isolated hut in the hinterland, cut off from civilization. Laida's videos have been watched by millions, and he recalled his first impressions of Whitakers on his Concrete KLIPS podcast. It was like that little scene in Deliverance that everyone knows, the filmmaker explained. We came across this road that turned into a country road and turned into a dirt road. And we go to this trailer, and then we go to a small cabin across the street. And there are people walking around, their eyes looking in different directions, barking at us. And if you look him in the eye or say something, he'll scream and run away. His pants fell around his ankles and he ran and kicked the trash can. And this happened over and over again. It was out of control and the craziest thing I've ever seen. During a meeting with the family and Rita, the filmmaker discovered three siblings. And my cousin lived in a dirty house with several dogs. Some family members can only speak through moans and screams. He also appeared to have physical and mental problems. In her YouTube video, Lida warns anyone who visits her family and tries to mock or disrupt them to think again or they will be evicted. He said, they are, in a sense, protected by their neighbors. And some relatives don't like it when these people come to make fun of them. After much persuasion, the family finally allowed the photo to be taken, as Lida offered to make a portrait to be placed in the coffin of his loved one. After the first visit, the filmmaker stayed in touch with the family and quickly returned to make the film Inbred Family, The Whitakers in 2020. The film was soon released on his YouTube channel, Soft White Underbelly. And he is pictured talking to his siblings Betty, Lorraine, and Ray. And cousin Timmy, another brother, Freddie, died of heart disease. When asked, Betty would not say whether her parents were related, nor did she know why Ray, Lorraine, and Timmy had disabilities. There is no way to confirm that Whitaker's parents were related, Lida wrote. But considering this is what actually happens in this part of the country, the Whitaker family is the most extreme case I've ever seen. I believe that at least some of the mental and physical abnormalities observed in Lorraine, Freddie, Ray, and Timmy were due to inbreeding. A year later, when Rida visited the family again and took tracking video, Betty confirmed that his parents were double cousins. Another video released in 2022 features a relative named Kenneth. Ms. Rida discusses her family's disabilities and facial abnormalities with her family. When asked why his eyes weren't looking straight ahead, Kenneth replied, maybe it's the coal mine. Through her videos, Lida helped the Whitaker family raise money for repairs and improvements to their home. Fundraising is still going on as he is currently trying to buy them a new home. The filmmaker stated that much of the feedback on his work with the family was critical, calling him an exploitative idiot. But he defended his research, saying, I think it's good for people to know that there are a lot of these things out there. He said, anything can be considered exploitative. I'm trying to shed light and raise awareness about what's going on in this country.